Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real life situations. What is a routine problem? A routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? A non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. Our first problem is a routine problem. Jocelyn is not feeling well, so her mother used a thermometer to measure her temperature. After getting her temperature using a digital thermometer, her temperature is 38.2 degrees Celsius. How many degrees in degrees Celsius is Jocelyn's temperature higher than the normal body temperature? The normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. So, how are we going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We are going to use the four-step plan. First, we are going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Very good. In this problem, it is asking for the number of degrees in degrees Celsius is Jocelyn's temperature higher than the normal body temperature. What are the given facts? The given facts are 38.2 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius. We already understand the problem. So, what is the next step? Very good. The next step is we're going to make a plan. So, what strategy should be used to solve the problem? What do you think, Dancer? Fantastic! We're going to use subtraction. What is the number sentence? Alright, the number sentence is 38.2 degrees Celsius minus 37 degrees Celsius is equal to N. So, let's carry out the plan. We're going to solve the problem. 38.2 degrees Celsius minus 37 degrees Celsius, the normal body temperature. To know how many degrees is Jocelyn's temperature higher than the normal body temperature, let's subtract. Bring down 2, copy the decimal point. 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. Then, copy degrees Celsius. Therefore, Jocelyn's body temperature is 1.2 degrees Celsius higher than the normal body temperature. Okay, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. So, let's add 37 degrees Celsius plus 1.2 degrees Celsius. So, bring down 0 0.2. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Bring down 3. Therefore, our answer is correct. Our second problem is a non-routine problem. Joshua boiled the meat that he needs for his recipe and he let it cool for 10 minutes. After that, he measured its temperature and got 75 degrees Celsius. How many degrees did the meat's temperature go down after boiling? So, let's analyze. We can use a number line to help us analyze this problem. 
the scaling of this number line is by 25 degrees Celsius. So we have 0 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Celsius, and 100 degrees Celsius. As we all know that, 0 degrees Celsius is the freezing point of a water. And 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of a water. So, in this problem, we will use this idea. The boiling point of a water is 100 degrees Celsius. This means that before Joshua let the meat cool down for 10 minutes, the temperature of the meat is 100 degrees Celsius since it was boiled. If it goes down to 75 degrees Celsius, then to know how many degrees did the meat's temperature go down after boiling and let it cool for 10 minutes, let's subtract 100 degrees Celsius and 75 degrees Celsius. And it gives the answer of 25 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the meat's temperature goes down after boiling by 25 degrees Celsius. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.